Yo, what's going on guys? T Mart here and I'm bringing you all episode 2 of at T Martin. And uh, before we get into that, what's going on in your screen right now? Is that Modern Warfare 2? Uh, yes, I thought that uh, I would use the Modern Warfare 2 gameplay for this episode just to uh, to mix it up a little bit and uh, keep it fresh for you guys. So this is a game that I got a couple days ago when I was playing with a bunch of friends and we decided to play some private match Modern Warfare 2 matches. So everyone in this game is pretty good. So uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. But this is episode 2 of at T. Martin, and if you guys don't know what series that is, it's a series where you guys can send in questions to me through like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube and stuff, and I will answer them uh, on the spot. So, I, uh, you know, you, you can send me anything. It can be related to uh, to Call of Duty or gaming, or it can be completely unrelated to that. So let's get into some of the questions here. Uh, now, number one here is uh, T. Mart. How many people in your personal life know what you do on YouTube? And uh, this is a really fitting question for uh, for kind of this point in time. So I started YouTube a year ago. I'm sure you guys know that. That was when I was uh, it was the summer of going into junior year in high school, and no, it was the summer of going into I, I don't know. It was during the summer. And during school, I tried to keep everyone kind of sheltered from my YouTube life because I didn't know how people would take it. I didn't want people to think that I was, uh, you know, a, a straight up nerd that never did anything and just sat here and made these videos. And yeah, I was, I was just nervous as to uh, would people look down on me because I do this. Um, and then I just finished my senior year of high school, and about the last three days, uh, I think someone, you know, one of my good friends, I mean, I had good friends that knew, and I think they told someone else, and then it just kind of spread, and then all of a sudden, pretty much everyone I knew knew about it, and they all thought it was really, really, really cool, and uh, I was really excited about that, but it's unfortunate because, um, I, you know, I never really got to experience it because school was over. I mean, it, it's nice to be able to talk to people about it, people who really think it's cool. Uh, you know, I was actually at a, uh, a party the night that we graduated and uh, this one person came up to me and they're like what's up T-Mart and I was like whoa 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 what'd you just say and they're like T-Mart I know what you do man that's awesome and uh, they were actually jealous of uh, of how many Twitter followers I had because I had more than them so uh, that was pretty cool so um, it's a uh, you know it's it's out there a little bit more now but um, uh, most people think it's pretty cool so I, I enjoy that <clears throat> now this kind of goes into the second question. Uh, Aaron James Evison asks, how happy has this whole YouTube thing made you and was it worth doing? Definitely 100%, no doubt about it. I would do this again every single time. So uh, the only regret I had is that uh, really kind of starting up, it took a lot of time to uh, to get a channel started. So I spent a lot of time making videos and stuff. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that um, I wish that... Um, you know, I missed out on some stuff, like sometimes I wouldn't go to a basketball game because I wanted to make a video. And I mean, it, it's paid off in the end because everything's worked out, but um, other than that, I, I've just, you know, it's 100%. Um, I have so much fun doing it. I've, you know, I've recently, all of us have been, you know, paid to do it. I started way before Machinima was paying people. So, uh, you know, I would do this for 100% free. Uh, but, uh, you know, being paid for it is a bonus on top of that. And I just, I love to interact with you guys. It's so cool to uh, to share a hobby of gaming with 130,000 people. I really do enjoy it. So, definitely, if you're thinking about getting into it, make sure you do. Going into the next question, Timor, if you could put one thing from Black Ops into Modern Warfare 3, what would it be and why? And I was thinking about this, I really couldn't think of anything, but I did want to switch the question around. If you could put one thing that wasn't in Black Ops into Modern Warfare 3, that would be gun balance. I mean... Black Ops just, I feel like it didn't do it right. So all the previous Call of Duty games, they had their really good weapons that were way better than anything else, such as the FAMAS, as you see me using here in Modern Warfare 2. But then other weapons were able to compete with that. Like, you had the UMP in Modern Warfare 2, but then the P90 was not that far behind the UMP. Whereas in Black Ops, you've got the uh, the AK-74U, and then, I mean, the MPL is decent, the Spectre is decent, but there's nothing that really competes with it. And I just, I, I would like to be able to to have a game where there's a bunch of different guns that are good and uh, you know say maybe one gun has a lot of damage but a lot of recoil and then another gun is a little bit more medium in both sides of that and uh, check out that awesome kill there but uh, I would just I would like to be able to use a variety of different guns and not be at too big of a disadvantage when everyone and their mother is using an AK-74U or FAMAS and in, uh, in Black Ops so I would like more gun balance in Modern Warfare 3 
Okay, T-Mart, do you think a Dazzle with decent enough quality would be okay to use until I reach around 1,000 subs, then get a HD PVR when I can afford one? Definitely not. I get this question all the time. If you guys are looking to get into commentary, do not buy a Dazzle, do not buy an Easy Cap, do not buy anything that is not... HD. Get a Hop Hog HD PVR, get a Black Magic Intensity Pro, get anything that is HD because if you get serious about it, you're going to want the HD. And no one, you know, viewers don't really want to watch standard definition. So it's going to make it tougher for you to grow. And then in the end, you'll just end up buying the HD anyway. And you will have, uh, you'll have wasted more money than you would have just saving up and getting that HD cap card first. So definitely wait until you can get the PVR. Now the next question comes from Metsfan43 and he says, T-Mark, could you host some open lobbies in the near future? And my answer to that question is a definite yes, man. Um, I'm on summer break, I'm out of school, so I have nothing to do all day every day. I mean, I'm going to be going to E3, I'm going to be going to PAX Prime, I'm going to be going to uh, to Paintball again up in Chicago in a couple weeks. But uh, for the most part, I'm free pretty much every day. So whenever I don't have anything planned, I'm definitely going to do some open lobbies, I'm going to do some live streams, I'm going to do some just randomly pick up subscribers and play with them like I did. Did last night it was a lot of fun so uh, I've really got a lot of free time on my hands right now and I will for the next few months and I definitely plan on uh, spending some time with you guys hanging out a little bit and I think that should be fun so uh, definite yes open lobbies in the future now moving on we've got uh, turbulence asking do you think FPS Russia is capable of world domination and uh, the answer is a definite yes man that guy is awesome he's got a lot of stuff planned and uh, you know he's just he's a great guy I spent a uh, weekend with him and Woody's Gamertag and Merka Durka and the Aviator and Gassy Mexican all those guys up at CPX Sports <coughs> paintballing uh, like last weekend and it was a lot of fun and uh, you've got you guys got some good videos coming out of that soon as well as we're gonna be going back in the next couple weeks so there'll be even more videos coming out of that, and uh, there's also going to be an opportunity for you guys to go up there and play if you want to do that. So mark your calendars for June 23rd through 26th, I believe it is. I don't know. I'll, I'll make a commentary with more information later. Now G Beast says, "This is a question for Ant T Martin. Can you say my name in a video?" Definitely, dude. Shout out to G Beast. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for sending the question. And uh, finally, the one that we've all been waiting for, as 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 seventeen seventeen says, "Fuck one, kill one, marry one." Rebecca Black, Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift. Now, I thought about this one. I'm gonna have to fuck Taylor Swift because she could be wifey material, but I'm not gonna go there. I mean, she's just, you know, I I do her. Kill one, Rebecca Black or Selena Gomez. What do you guys think? Definitely Rebecca Black. Let's let's just get rid of her. There's going to be no more terrible songs to bless us on YouTube. Unfortunately, that uh, you know she actually does follow me on Twitter, so I'm going to lose a Twitter follower, but that's okay with me because if I get to marry my boo, my dream girl Selena Gomez, I'm all good with that baby. I mean, she's got money, she's got looks, she's got everything. She's just the whole package. And Justin Bieber, I've seen your pictures with her in Hawaii. Just know that I'm going to be in LA June 6th through 13th and I'm coming for you bro I'm gonna kidnap you I'm gonna give you to FPS Russia he'll take care of you and then I'm gonna take your girl so that's just what's gonna happen bro alright so uh, anyway guys hope you all enjoyed this episode if you wanna send in questions for the next episode just go ahead and uh, leave a comment below or follow me on or I mean, send them to me on Twitter and Facebook uh, so anyway guys hope you all enjoyed the episode lots of great videos coming your way soon I'll catch you all later peace